to pay for when we put that produce into our cart. So there may be a way to know for sure. We have a person that has a really cool device. Very cool. He's a doctor, student doctor is what we call it. Student doctor Mike, Mike Hoagland. Our student doctor Mike. That's true. We have the big Mike and now, except you're not little. <laughs> so I can't say the little Mike. Mike Hoagland is his name. Uh, you're the co-founder of smartphonephysical.org. Good morning to you. Good morning. Ladies. A while back you were here. He had a device where he did almost an ultrasound for you. Did an ultrasound of me. Checked my heart rate. So now you have a device to test our produce. Is That's that right? right? Yeah, last time we did a smartphone physical on, on you guys, now we're actually going to do a smartphone physical on some food, some Love fruit it. specifically. How does it work? Raw fruits and vegetables. So this little device here uh, called Lapka, okay. looks like it's a lipstick container, but mm -hmm. bam, you open that up, it's actually a secret probe okay. that you can actually plug right into your iPhone. So you plug this into your iPhone, and now you're actually ready. All right, so you take, take this probe, that. plug this into your phone. Wait, this, oh, that little piece. Yes, just okay. that little, that, just that little, that little spear. You just stick that right into the probe. Okay. So um, you can take take it to the grocery store with you. I'm gonna pull up the app here called Lapka. Okay. This is a device called a personal environment monitor. It's a set of four. You can get this one tests organic foods. Okay. The others test the the air for certain things. So I'm gonna open up this app here. Okay. And then I actually, so I'm going to go to the supermarket. Say I'm going to go to Whole Foods. I'll be running when they see people walking in with this stuff. And I actually can go over there and prong my fruit. Exactly. Yeah, I would recommend doing this. Yeah. Like, turning your Swiss cheese, your Swiss chard into Swiss cheese. But uh, uh, Whole Foods may uh, blacklist you. But right. no, actually, this is something you can use anywhere. And so I'm in a spear piece of, but if I bought something and I brought it home, say there's a lot of fruit and vegetable produce stands, and I pay a lot more money to get something that they tell me is organic. So I want to know, is it really organic? What am I going to find out if I come over here and like nail this uh, peach. Exactly. Great question. What this device actually mm -hmm. does is test the residues from pesticides and fertilizers. So okay. those are nitrates. Okay. And so what it does is actually sends a little current into the fruit and actually detects how much of that fertilizer uh, residue is actually left. Oh, so, okay. So that's the stuff that's actually going to cause problems with, uh, you know, development so with kids. So here's the app, right? Right. All right. So here we go. Lapka. It's a Russian word that means uh, rabbit's foot. So it's like this lucky rabbit's foot you carry around with you to protect you from, from the environment here. And then and the, my thing, too, is let's say you're buying all this organic food, fruit and you're spending all this money, and then it shows you that your food is still loaded with pesticides or something like that. At least you can know that, you know, you're spending your money wisely. Right? Don't you think? Yeah, absolutely. Or on the opposite, you know, you could find food and it is organic. Right. I mean, you, you, we can actually buy two different carrots. So these carrots actually... Uh, we're from, they look about the same, they taste right. about the same, but they're actually from uh, two different uh, vendors. One I got from an organic food uh, distributor and one I got from actually off the street. Okay. And so what I actually can actually do is then test How much does it cost about anyway so if you're interested? You get this uh, device, this set of four devices for $200. Okay. Um, and it's available at Urban Outfitters or online. Really? Yeah. Uh, because it's kind of a well-designed, the, their whole thing is that these are like laboratory-grade devices made for consumers now, because you see they're well-designed, wood accents, it's like NASA meets Yves Saint Laurent, uh -huh. and uh, <laughs> so it's something you can carry in your purse, carry in your pocket, and uh, kind of be your uh, protectorate as you face your day. That's so fun. there's radiation detector, EMF detector, uh, humidity detector, and also... An I'll tell you what, food. since we have, uh, we have all these gadgets, let me just tell you, hooked on to ourselves, so we're going to move away from you. Why don't you okay. try it sure. and get something on the screen? We'll go to break, and then we'll try and get it back up just to show people what it looks like. It's a cool idea. idea. Thank, Thank you. Thank you, little doctor. The results, because we were just showing right. that organic device a moment ago that lets you test your fruit. So we want to get right to it. It's actually pretty cool. You get it at Urban Outfitters. All right, so the app is working now. So this, see this? This is if what would show up on your phone. He's testing a carrot. He has a little device plugged into a carrot. Is this the organic or non-organic? Well, this is the non-organic, the dirty carrot. You see it's 555 uh, parts per million of, of nitrates. That's the garbage that we don't want in our, okay. in our fruits and vegetables. So that is actually a very high number. Almost, it's, it's actually over the threshold. And you don't have to remember this. If you just click on that actually tells you right away that, and then plug that, it into the that it's red. So that's okay. So this is not organic. You not got the organic. X there. So, so as you plug that in, you know what would be crazy is if you buy food that you think is organic and then you go home and you plug it in and you see all those little things floating around in your screen. Absolutely. That is not what you would want. All right. So now this one, as now, you're plugging it in. Now, now. this one looks similar. Uh, similar looking carrot. Now got plug it, it from in. an organic uh, food market that I'm sure we've all been to. And uh, just going to put this probe in here. And hit start. Let's see what, what that level is. Remember, it was 555 before for the non-organic. And then now this level is going to be 63. Wow. So, I mean, we're talking a, a huge difference um, in pesticide residue, fertilizer okay. residue. So if you could know that, wow. would you want to know? 
Well, I just like that it gives you the bottom line, yes or no. If it tells me, like, one word, it's kind of like a pregnancy test, like, yes, you are, no, you're not. <laughs> yeah, that's right. what I want to know. Is it or All is right. it not? Well, well is it or is it not? That. And oh, wow. you get the check mark, boom, it's organic. That's cool. So, Urban Outfitters and some other places. What's it called really quickly? It's called LAPKA, L-A-P-K-A. LAPKA. That's pretty cool. Thank you, Thank Dr. You. Mike. Thank we you, ladies. All take right, care. now we're going to take you to Spain. Jen Fred is still in her amazing dream assignment in Barcelona. So she's